If there was any case that is considered to be the linchpin case of American ufology, it's Roswell. Roswell is probably the most famous UFO incident of all time. It was an incident that occurred in 1947, just outside of Roswell, New Mexico, where a rancher was out in his property and he stumbles across this crashed wreckage on the ground. Um, he describes seeing metallic parts, he describes seeing um, burn marks, and he describes sort of this, this moment where something clearly slammed into the ground in, in this desert. And the farmer who owned that ranch called the military and they came to pick it up. A local reporter caught wind of the story, contacted the Air Force and asked if anything had crashed in the desert um, near Roswell. Well, the U.S. Air Force turns around and gives the reporter a statement saying they had recovered a flying saucer or a crashed flying disc. And everyone was kind of like, that's weird. The United States government just admitted they picked up a crashed flying saucer. A day later, that officer uh, recanted. The disc was a part of a weather balloon. No big deal. Along with the military occupying the town, shutting everything down over a weather balloon, and then you have people coming forward saying they actually did see these bodies. Uh, it gives a lot of evidence that something there did happen. The change in the story led some people to think that there was a little something fishy going on, that maybe there was a cover-up of some kind. After Roswell, uh, there was a large uh, influx of people coming forward seeing all kinds of odd things. Uh, the government normally said it was just swamp gas or people were seeing Venus when it was close to the Earth. And, you know, they were just dismissing all of these accounts. Within UFO circles, what was laid was the foundation of conspiracy. What was laid was the foundation of the mythology that would become the Roswell case, where the United States government not only has a crashed flying saucer, but also allegedly dead alien bodies, uh, alien technology, and, and on we go down the rabbit hole. The UFO talk really picked up in the 1970s when people started to believe that the government was concealing something in Area 51, specifically a UFO that had crashed along with some alien bodies. I think the public has become more apt to accepting the possibility that there are extraterrestrials. People are getting more and more interested in what is actually out there, and they want the truth. They don't want to be told that it's swamp gas or it's just an illusion of, uh, you know, a close uh, orbiting of Venus. Uh, they want to know what's going on.